Pacquiao was adamant against taking the blood test. And I am, I, I know in my heart and I know from firsthand information that it didn't happen. But right now we're clear, we're free and clear. We're, we're, there's no problems with steroids, all that. I think Oscar De La Hoya is holding this fight up. And we're going to get agitated. Sal, your thoughts on the Kellerman and the post-fight interview and how he basically what he said about Oscar and how everything went down. I, I can see your why you think it's disrespectful, but at the same time, like you said, he spoke as a fan. I think yeah. that's where he just dropped the mic and said, you know what, I'm, I'm putting on my you know, t-shirt and hat. I'm, I'm a fan. I need this fucking fight already. I need it to happen. Max is a, we all know he's a huge boxing fan. Oh, yeah. He's right? been yeah. reads this stuff so yeah. bad. Historian. So I, I think it was almost like he broke down himself because he, he knows that Oscar is holding it back. He knows they don't want the fight yet. And, and it's understandable. Look how, let's just take the fight a year back. How much has Canelo progressed? Every every fight he, he adds another wrinkle. Yeah. He gets a little better. So him fighting a, a Canelo from last year, it's, it's, it's I mean, uh, GGG from last year. GGG would have beat him. Now in September, I, I don't know if it's the same. GGG is getting a little older. Like you said, father time uh, never loses. So I think it's going to be at the right time, but they're both going to be very competitive. Um, is Oscar holding it back? Yes, but he's also going to lose at the right moment. If it doesn't happen in September, I just think everybody's going to be disappointed. Everybody's going to lose interest, and it, it, it just has to happen in September. Again, I thought it was a little disrespectful, but again, I, I get it. The frustration is there from everybody. That makes sense. It makes sense what he said. Okay, so, so September, <laughs> I'm, I'll hold my thoughts, and I won't write my articles about Oscar. <laughs> No, oh, that's fair. I'll wait to September. That's fair. It makes well, sense. Not, not September. You have to wait two months before that because by that time we should have already had an announcement. We should yeah, we should already have an announcement. So let's see, September, that'd be August. And by June, we should have something. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ending of June, going hey, into July. We my question to all you guys uh, How many years do you think Golovkin has left in the tank? I say probably prime years. Probably stays in there two more longer than he needs to. So probably I say he fights for four more years. He's going to have to stay. If you, if you don't get a payday, he's going to have to stay because he's only making a million dollars a fight. And he lives in Santa Monica, California. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know what his cost of living expenses are, but to live in Santa Monica. some nice endorsement deals, though. Yeah, he yeah, got he some Jordan stuff, but if he's not fighting, he's going to have an endorsement. Exactly. You know, so this I mean, fight has to happen. And, and do, you feel, do, you, do, you, do you believe he's still in his prime? Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think, think happened so. in his last fight? You think it was just... Nah, he... Oh, no, look at his last fight. He fought a good fighter. I mean, mm -hmm. th let's not take anything away from, from, from yeah. Brooke. Yeah. Brooke's a small dude, but a solid Thank dude. You. That, no, I wanted to hear no, her because this is what I've been saying all, all last two weeks. A, Brooke, in my opinion, is, was the best welterweight there is. Because I honestly kept saying the same thing. Brooke is an elite athlete. I know he's a 147 pounder, but he was a big welterweight. So really, he was kind of like a junior middleweight in some ways. And... Yeah. I just felt that Gennady maybe underestimated him, or he just fought a fighter who's just that, that good. And I think he was <coughs> sick. I think all that he wasn't, I, I really think he was sick. You think he was sick? Yeah, I, I just want, they didn't want any excuses for I, that. I thought he was bored, too. I thought he was like, uh, damn. Because he didn't want to fight. There's interviews where he says, he's a little guy. Why would I fight this uh, little guy? So it made him good money. So. Yeah, he, I, I, like, you know how... I, I've always, I've become enamored with Triple G's ring walk. It is like the best oh. show ever, oh, like yeah. the best shit ever. He, he goes from Tupac, to he goes to his music, and then he comes out to this Mexican music in LA. I've never seen him anywhere else. Man, he is a, that ring walk, his ring walk is the and best. Wow, the whole place yeah, was holding his fist up. Rock it, rock it. <laughs> and uh, I did Abel Sanchez in his tucked in t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. He looked bored, he looked disinterested. Maybe that's a better word. He looked like he wasn't look. He wasn't one hundred percent lethargic, but he knew the fight was over. He was just going through the motions. Mm -hmm. well, that's saying. why I think he just went for broke. He didn't see any really boxing skill mm -hmm. there. He just went and tried to kill this kid and get it out, and it yeah. cost him a Dead bit. Round he did yeah. that, yeah. but again, that's I think it goes back to the same thing. I mean, he just wanted to go and kill this kid, get it over mm -hmm. with. Cause said he was bored he didn't want that fight mm -hmm. that's not what he that's not what triple g stands for that's not what he wanted he didn't want to fight a little guy mm -hmm. and there's also a big loss i mean if what if like you said this kid actually tagged him up did his triple g stock go up no he fought a little guy he beat a little guy he was supposed to beat a little guy sure. as a matter of fact we were supposed to get a dramatic knockout like con like <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah so and we didn't get that we got a, a we got a horrible stoppage 
Again, I get the stoppage. Yeah, I'm not as We didn't get that dramatic knockout that <clears throat> yeah. your luck can always give us. The stock that went up was obviously Canelo's, and then considering this weekend again, his stock would grow. And Brooke's yeah. stock went up. Brooke's like, stock. Brooke's stock went up as well. But Brooke has the option now. Do I fight Smith or do I fight Canelo? Yeah, well, you know? I, like I said, I think Canelo's going to be at 160. Next yeah, fight, yeah. Who is that 154 for? for uh, oh, dude, everybody. We broke that. We broke that yeah. this last. <laughs> uh, That's right. Yeah. J Rock, uh, Julian. Uh, then Charles. we have uh, the Charlos, Andrade. Lara. Yeah, Andrade. but an interesting fight. Yeah, he's got some tough. I fights. mean, how great would a Charlo brother fight with versus Brooke be? Yeah, yeah. It's... Maybe versus J Rock. J Rock's always he's he's yeah, ballsy. Yeah, 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 he's a good kid. He's a good fighter. Now, so Canelo right now won a WBO belt. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> The WBO that was stripped from Andrade, does he go up to 160 as you're saying, or does Andrade just <laughs> go off the chains and off the rails and just calls out Canelo for that belt? Andrade, no. Andrade, he's gonna do his best trying to get that fight. Yeah, but no, it's not happening. Canelo fight Andrade. Just for just before. even if I mean we're not 100 percent if Canelo's gonna fight uh, Gennady in September of next year, but just to keep that fight relevant and to keep the fans interested in Canelo. He will have to move up to 160 just to give that that presentation that or that idea that the fight may happen. Because if he keeps fighting at 154, five fans are going to say, "Well, is he ever going to fight at middleweight? Is he really going to fight Gennady?" Because he says he's got to move up to 160 to get used to that weight to acclimate himself. He is it going to happen for him? Yeah, exactly. So I think even just to give the fight fans the the idea that the fight may happen and to keep Canelo and Triple G relevant, he's going to have to move up to 160 in this next fight. So maybe he fights Stevens in January or February, and then fights Lemieux in May. I don't know. And then Triple G in September. Yeah. Hopefully that's that happens. That's a, those are I like good the events. rematch balls. I, I would like to see Triple G and Canelo in May with a mandatory meet rematch balls <coughs> if the fight is serviceable. And then you rematch them again. Because there's no more money. Triple G can retire after that. Just make it a trilogy? Make, yeah, do it. Get them two fights out, and if it goes 1-1, one, one, you bring it right back in May. <laughs> And you do it all over again, you know what I mean? Or you put a fight in between, I feel like HBO does, you know, yeah. you salivate yeah. us with, with a, a knockout and then you bring them back, hmm. you know, so. But, uh, Final thoughts on the weekend on that fight, on that night alone on September 17th, this past Saturday. Final thoughts on that day. Uh, you know, like I said, Canelo did what he had to do, you know. He won the fight, did it impressively, got the knockout, gave the fans what they wanted, and has me interested in his future. I uh, was very impressed with Canelo, very impressed with Jojo Diaz, but what I didn't like about the card was the opponent never lost a round. I mean, the opponent never <laughs> won a round. Like, the, I'm talking about the pay-per-view. De Diego De La Hoya won 10 rounds. <laughs> Jojo Diaz won 10 <laughs> rounds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I forgot about that day. He won every round. You see why I spoke about Canelo immediately and his talk about the and then and Canelo, and then Canelo basically won every round. So yeah. the opponent never lost a round. So, oh, I see so, so, yeah. so I think that, that they have to do a better job at, like, as you say, it is good at matchmaking to keep us entertained. You know, more competitive matchups. More competitive matchups. You know what I mean? It's on HBO. Yeah. yeah. And at least on HBO. Yeah. You're right. And uh, but I enjoyed the night. You know, it was my honestly, I haven't been to a. Uh, uh, a predominantly Latino uh, fan base in the house since Trinidad and uh, they were what? That's the last time I watched a, a fight with predominantly like whoever's fighting, whether it's Filipinos, if I'm watching Pacquiao. I didn't, man, I, I had a blast, man. It, it, it was totally fun. I didn't go to Dallas. But uh, because the reason why I didn't go to Dallas is I hate the Cowboys. And I didn't want to go in there and say, oh, I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm a diehard Giants fan. And I was like, I would not want to sit in that stadium. And I didn't go, I didn't go cover the fight, I'm being honest. I applaud you for that reason. <laughs> and so, but uh, overall, Canelo impressed, Diaz impressed. Now, is do we get what we want out of Canelo, you know? Sal, your thoughts on the weekend and the fight? We got to see little angles that Canelo never showed. Uh, sure. I think he got people interested on what what Triple G could do versus him. They picked a bigger guy, taller at least height wise, that kind of resembled uh, Golovkin in a way. Um, for that reason, how is Golovkin going to do with a guy that's slightly bigger than him? How is he going to be able to play with him? Um, I think it was a, a good fight just to get people talking again, just to get, and, and also I think it was part of the negotiation. They said, let me pick a guy that nobody knows, 
but let me show you how I can put 50,000 people on their asses. I don't, I don't need Triple G. Triple G needs me. That's what I thought about the card. But if, if he gets Triple G, we get 90,000. 90,000. What about 100? <laughs> yeah, Ramon's going to be standing there. Yeah, because yeah, they, like they, uh, they had an NBA All-Star game there. You sure right. At that arena, and they sold, what, 101? Thousand seats, right. and mind you, the court. That was Super Bowl. That was Super Bowl. No, that was that was an that was an NBA All Star game. Oh, was it? It was an NBA uh, All Star game. I think it was this past year. They didn't use the floor, right? They, so. they didn't. They didn't use the floor. So imagine uh, how many more seats they could add there. Uh, you think the fight's gonna happen on the floor? I honestly, no, no. I honestly think the fight more than likely will happen in Texas. I, 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 I think it'll be in Vegas. I. If they want to maximize. They'll pay so much more. Yeah, they want to. Well, Jerry depends on how much Jerry Jerry Jerry's gonna drop. I see it in Vegas. You see it in Vegas? You see it in Vegas? I hope it's in Vegas. I hope it's in Vegas. It's going to be much yeah. bigger. <laughs> it's a drive. And it's cheaper. And it's cheaper. And it's cheaper. And it's cheaper. Well, bye guys. Again, recapping the weekend and weekend of fights.